Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I'm back out with the bro, and uh, we're, just, well, actually, we're fishing a really cool piece of river today. Uh, Jared hasn't been here before, and I haven't been here for ages, so it's pretty exciting, to be honest. I always like coming in here. There's some great fish to be had. It's just cool looking water. So we're gonna get set up. I'll run you through what I'm using, and we'll go try catch a fish. You could use dry dropper, but it's gonna be mostly nymphing today. Mostly nymphing? I'll yeah, so up. I just set up like a straight through jobby yeah. mcjob okay. and we'll, um, we'll roll with that. Um, so you're gonna be nymphing as well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I might do some naked nymphing later, I don't know. It's gonna be mostly like deep nymphing, probably indicator nymphing, that kind of stuff. Uh, heavy flies, long leaders, indicator, all that kind of gig. It's just that kind of water and it's just a really good way to fish it. So, bit of a bigger river this week so we're going to bring bring out the six weight so i've got the helios 3 six weight f and the olive jobby and um yeah boy and touch my tip just handles that bigger water a little bit better easier there's some big fish in here they're all real strong so just having that little bit extra grunt really helps i'm gonna put this on this is a hip pack why am i just holding it so i've got a heap of junk in here it's not junk, I've got, to, I've got too much stuff in here, is what I've got. On there, I'm going to put the Mirage LT size 2 reel in an olive kind of color. Kind of matches the rod quite nicely. Uh, on the reel, as usual, guys, I've got the Scientific Anglers Amplitude Infinity Smooth Camo line from Scientific Anglers. I said that twice. Uh, and then we're going to build our own like straight through leader over there. Because we want those flies to get down in the zone like real quick and stay there. We're not going to use a tapered leader that's going to kind of hang things up. We're going to go straight through 3X. That will cut through the water way quicker, get those flies down way deeper, and fish them more effectively. But if you want to know how I do this in detail, I'll link a video up here and you can go and watch that. If it's kind of you're interested in that, I recommend you watch that video, like it's a good one. And um, it'll save me boring you with it all today. Yep, yep, yep. Found him. Nice one, brother. Whoa, look at the size of this eel. Whoa. Whoa. She's decent. Yeah, I know, right? You want some? Oh, don't you go for the eel. Go away. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's still doing it. Yeah, man, she wants a piece of him. Got him. Oh, nice work, buddy. Uh, nice work, brother, right there. Cheers, man. That was a super nice fish. And then we had a big, big eel coming in there trying to take chunks Probably out of it. the biggest it. eel I've seen. For a long time yeah man she was deep she was decent yeah. uh yeah she wanted uh, a chunk of our fish so we just kind of rip downstream real quick quick look and then get that fish back yeah an eight little pheasant tail flashback category three good fly all right nice one man cool. off the board right. no on the board on the board off the mark okay let's see what we can find so 101, no split shot to start with. And we'll just work the water with that, and then as I need to, I'll add split shot. Let's see what happens. Yep. That'll be the guy we saw, I'd say. 
Ooh, dude, 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 where are you going? At a hundred mile an hour. Oh, just up the pool. I pretty much just covered that entire pool already. That's decent. Ah, oh, come on, dude. We're just over here. Alright, bro, I'll, I'll, I'll get him in here somewhere. He's a strong ass fish, man. Man, I work for her. Yeah, she proper, proper nice fish. Yeah. Work. And I'm Yep. Ooh. Cool. Uh, yeah, I had to work really hard for her. I fished a lot of water before I actually got that fish, but that's okay. Oh, there's your net that I just let go. There you go. Uh, yeah, so pretty much first drift. And uh, yeah, she was there under the phone line. We actually seen that fish when we were setting up, I think. Uh, eating something kind of down a bit closer in. But yeah, we found her. Oh, good stuff. Let's try and find a couple more of them. There's got to be another fish in here we can find. It's a massive, massive piece of water. Look at this. Uber cool, right? So yeah, and um, what fly does she eat, Jared? What's that? What fly does she eat, do you know? Uh, what was up on the bottom? Oh yeah, little... Oh, that was a Prince of UV uh, from Category 3 flies. Rainbows love those flies. Um, good, 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 good. Uh, yeah, cool. As Jared was just saying, wasn't overly big, but I'll take it. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much sums it up. Actually, yeah. but a really pretty fish, like really pretty small tail. Actually, reminded us of uh, like Lake Topol trout uh, when they come out into the uh, when they come out of the lake into the river. Can't talk when they come out of the lake into the river to spawn. Those fish, very similar. Anyway, um, good work. Yeah. Just took a bunch of weight and a bit of messing around to get the right drift and then yeah she was there all right we're gonna try again something else one more one more yeah okay so as you found the fish at last um it's been it's been few and far between today it's been pretty quiet uh as days go on this river but that's okay it happens but anyway i found the fish down deep eating away and i was just checking my leader for I went to fish to him, and I just found that my 3X was kind of pretty banged up, so I'm just going to replace the whole leader. Maybe I could get away with it, I don't know, but it's been a tough day. We're pretty much at the end of the day, this will be the last piece of water for fish. This is likely the last shot I'm going to have at actually catching the fish. And it would suck if I did actually hook this fish and I busted off because 
I was too lazy to change my leader out. You know, I might do all this, I'm not even hooking fish, but if I do hook it, I'll be real glad I've done this. Should find this. Got him. Nice. And now I'm glad that I changed my tippet. Oh no, it's just dropped out of his mouth and now in the mouth and the tail. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't gonna go well. <laughs> I think we'll end up down there, dude, to be honest. That's how it's gonna go, I think. That's cool. Almost, almost. Well done, bro. Well done. Oh, a little bit skinny. They'll be, uh, be a great fish once he puts on a bit of weight. Nice one. And under. A little bit skinny, but uh, hey, happy. I worked hard for that fish. <laughs> uh, and that's cool because we saw him. We had to plan, we changed everything over and it worked out well. It's been a fish in the air, I don't know what it was. Doesn't matter. All right, I think we're gonna go have a look in the top of this pool and we're probably gonna get out of here because it's 2.30 already. Another hour to get out, a couple hours home. Yeah, pretty much. We'll have a quick look up here and then um, if we find something we'll fish to it. If not, we'll catch up and get out of here. Okay, so that was cool, man. That was like after maybe like 10 minutes of fishing. It was like two casts, two weeks. Two right? casts, two weeks. Yeah, last one, got one. That was a really, another really nice fish. Um, on the Prince of UV, that's done really well today. We're gonna have a look up there and see if we can do the crossing. I don't know if we'll be able to. If we can, we'll fish it and then we're out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna go a really big, floaty, fluffy dry fly, this cicada. I uh, don't expect to eat that, but I wanna put like a fairly decent nymph underneath it. Um, because it's real shallow but it's fast so I just want a little bit of weight to get down and I want to be able to see this fly. Um, sure what I'm looking at our fish. So we have some four eggs off the bend of that. Double Davy, tag ends and hip out. I'm gonna go three feet, yeah. And I want something with a bit of weight, but not too big. Could do with a double tungsten something actually. What's that? Right, we're gonna go a double tungsten 2.8 pheasant tail thing that I tied ages ago. Should hold up. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> Ha 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 
Thanks, man. <laughs> That's a beautiful little fish, though, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Get out of here, you. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? That would have been nice to finish on. Get off me. Yep. Wow, there's some fish in there. That's a proper fish, too. Oh. It's all caught up around my hip back and everything. Oh, no. Caught a bit. Oh, dude, dude. I'm not in control yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a chunk. Yeah, that's not. That's not small. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. I'd like to see this in the net. Ooh. Another eel on the scene, look. Oh, yeah. Scavengers. He is wrapped up a bit. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, just came, just came free. Yeah! Oh, oh man. Dude. That's seven, eight, easy. And our hook's out in the net. That's... That's got to be eight, nearly eight. Oh yeah, easy bro. seven. Okay, um, so we actually had just signed off down there, but we came up here, attempted a crossing, which was sketchy. It was up here, but we managed to do it. And then we got to this piece of water here and they were just stacked up. I caught a small one, lost another one, missed another one. And then finally caught that girl, which is a great fish. Well, I reckon it's gotta be seven. Easy seven, easy seven. Between seven and eight, I'd say is a, is a good estimation and just, solid anyway that's the fish we're going to finish on yeah we've got a long way out of here now um but that was totally worth it all right we're going to pack up and go give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and see you later to jared yeah have a great weekend everyone we'll see you on the next one thanks to brown Not sure where we're going to end up here, but we might end up in that other water, bro. That's fine. We'll go. Yeah, I think we'll take our time and go down to the quiet stuff. Yeah, way safer down here and easier. Yeah, she's beautiful. Holy. So clean. I know, right? Oh, yeah. Come this way, baby. Oh, yeah, dude. Woo. Yeah, boy. What a stunning fish. Yeah. So we finished the video. Jared put another cast in just because ah, go on, we'll just put a couple through and cover that water. Caught another fish about the same as mine. We didn't film it. We've got some really nice pictures, which I'll show you now. Uh, and then that happened, and I just thought I'll just finish fishing out the very top of that water. I think I missed one and then caught that brown. 
And that's a spectacular fish. I'm, I'm made up with that. That's really nice. Again, good six pound fish. Doesn't matter. Just like, like you said, like, like a painting, eh? Yeah, it was like a painting. It was awesome. All right, we're definitely going now. We're going to break down our rods because <laughs> we need to leave. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.